Yo guys, and Samir here. We are playing Portal 2 today. Um, we're gonna pick up where we left off from our old series of Portal and start us from the beginning of the second one. So that way you guys can see where the story left off. Um, or picks up. Whichever word's right. One of them is. Um, I know this is one of my favorite games. I've played it at least a half a dozen times. Maybe more? I have no idea. But I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear okay. a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. Just ignore that. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. No, I don't want to. I want to start the TV. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. I wasn't even looking at it. Staring at art has not provided the required intellectual the... sustenance. Reflect okay. briefly on this classical music. Get that out of here. Good. Now, please return to your bed. I'm on it. I return to it. Oh, just want to do this. Okay. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This is Hello. Anyone in there? Ah. Oh God. God. You look tech, um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you Thank okay? You. How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, okay. you might want to hang on to something. <laughs> Word of advice. Up to you. Um, what do you do? This is my room. Don't mess with my room. You're can no. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't that be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. No. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Potato. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, um, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in wall. pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Yeah. The reserve still here. power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Um, I didn't try it, but okay. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. Stop and whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, 
we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. OK, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. I think the docking station is down there. Um. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. The action is totally technical. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Um, okay. Good luck. Hello, and again, Ooh. welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially You're gonna go on the toilet this time. You're not coming control. anywhere. However, thanks to you, emergency you testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Good, emergency testing. Glad to see that things finally can work out for us. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. I want to know how that would happen, but okay. I'd want to know what button or box and button based testing would cause an apocalypse. I don't remember even remember. I don't even remember what they said caused this even. Um, hmm. I think it might be tied in with Half Life somehow, but I'm not sure. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Ow, that would hurt. Just a little at least. I mean, you can imagine having your ear tubes emancipated is not a lovely feeling to have. I mean, I know I like my ear tubes. Not sure about you guys. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. And what if it doesn't get rebuilt? Well, it probably would be rebuilt anyways, at some point, in the long future of futures. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. Um, hey, you made it! There should be a, a portal device. Oh! Okay, gravity works. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. 
A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Wonderful. Cause, cause I'm grieving right now. What were the laws of robotics again anyways? I think they were something along the lines of you can't hurt humans, you can't disobey the first law, and something. I don't remember. If someone remembers, please this leave me a comment. This is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Um, why'd they just play ABCs by the Jackson, or the Jackson 5? You know what, I, I'm not gonna, or I don't wanna know the answer to that. That, that would, there's reason for it, there's reason for everything. Who knows why they played the Jackson Great 5. Work. Because this message is pre-recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. But what if, what if I do deserve the compliment? Oh wait. Um, what are you guys? That's you're a cat. A cat. That's adorable. Okay. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Why would it be deliberate that you know what never mind? I I won't try to figure it out. Space debris. Oh, this would be a deliberate sense of space debris missing. Is that part of the test? Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. That is really low. How could this run on 1.1 volts? That's just that's just tiny. Like you 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 couldn't even power a microwave with that. You couldn't power your cell phone with that. You couldn't power a wristwatch with that. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Well, I don't believe in a God, so therefore I don't believe He can help me. Oh man, I gotta go down there. Okay. Geronimo! If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome! And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts, starts with, with you. you. How could I ever forget that? Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, 
if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I don't have a primitive tribe, but I'm not the one to start the future? Maybe? Who knows? Oh, excuse me. Mm, tired. Let's see if the future starts with me anyways. Yeah. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, Brian! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Yeah, um, I, I guess so. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three. That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it, really? Guys. All right, going on three so just gives you too much time to think about you. it. Let's uh, go on one this time. We're not okay, ready? Catch you. One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. Ha. Ow. Ha. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Congrats. And we didn't catch stick you. on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right open. While your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, Just follow the rail, actually. Oh no. Yes. Hi! Hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. I don't want to move. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hello. I can. I'm talking to you. Yes, you are. You want to come on our journey? Oh, you stopped talking to me. Fine. Screw you too. Just, just, just screw you. I wanted you to come along on our journey, but you know what? You know what? Screw you. Ugh. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Okay. There she is. What a nasty piece of work. Do you she guys was, remember honestly. that? Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. I remember and this too. Can we and, uh, open it? Drop him down there. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You that's a great job. So if nothing the grit, we're all happened, fine. that's but... tremendous. Ah! I just sorry, I just looked down. I'm I do sorry. not recommend it. Ah! I think it looks oh, fine down there. Well, if nothing happened, then this I want to know what caused this. This is the main this. breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything well, else. There's a lot don't of switches. Anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find escape pod, but as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else, look at the next thing, alright? But don't touch anything else or look I, at anything. Well, look can't. at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you I see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. I thought the lights were on, but okay. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. It's just a lot of switches oh, here. Oh, turning. whoa. Ominous. What are you oh, doing? Fine. As long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go okay, faster. Okay, well, you're turning everything on. Uh-oh. And apparently there's no power, power so... Power initiated. 
Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack. It's not a problem. You are so up. A A A A A. a um. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do B? Do you have a pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Do nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You Hi. know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been, I've been really good. busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Yeah. Ah. That was so fun. Oh no, 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 no. Did I not oh, tell no, you, buddy? No, no, no. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. Thank you. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I do, it's so I much fun. It There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Like grab or test out gravity, cause cause I can do that pretty well. Thought it was one of like the really good. Oh God, excuse me. I thought it was one of the best gravity testers ever. Definitely testing it. Nailed it. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. Get in there. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Well, I really didn't want to talk to anybody. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. Fantastic. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. If you, if you go about that hobby, then you could, like, go back in time, if you can do time travel, and reanimate yourself. And then maybe this entire thing would... Oh, no, that would create a paradox. Never mind. Ignore me. I know science. I'm a scientist. I know science. I'm not a scientist. I wish I was a scientist. That'd be fun. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that.